How to install Meizu's Flyme OS on your POCO F1 Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Flyme OS on the POCO F1 What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need is your device to be decrypted. How do you find that out? You can go into settings, password and security and privacy. You can see that for me. Encryption and credential says phone is not encrypted and this is a prerequisite for installing Flyme OS. In case your device is encrypted then you will have to do a format data in the end in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent as you can see i am running miui 12 on my device however the steps are the same even if you're on a custom rom you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you so for starters you'll go into settings password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you will go back and then you will go into me account and remove your me account once that is done you will go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next up, what are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and you need three files. So you need the Flyme OS system file, the Flyme OS vendor file, and then you need the POCO F1 firmware. We are using 12.0.0.3 firmware for the purpose of this video now in case you're already on 12.0.0.3 you can of course skip installing the firmware next thing we need to do is we need to boot our device into twerp recovery and for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device and then once the device has turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we are booted into twerp recovery we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and we need to select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe if you do not get the option for vendor that means you're not using the twerp recovery which is linked in the description of the video and i do recommend that you use the twerp recovery which is linked in the description of this video next up we'll tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we need to flash is the firmware file then we will tap on add more zips the next file which you need to flash is the vendor for flyme os and the next file which we need to flash is the system so we'll tap on add more zips and select flyme os system and then swipe to confirm flash and before you ask me that munchie you are already on 12.0.0.3 then why are you flashing the firmware again well it doesn't really make a difference and I am making a video about it so I am just flashing the firmware file as well it won't make any difference however if you are on some other version of me why say you are on 11.0.9.0 then you do have to flash the firmware file now once everything has flashed we will scroll up and make sure everything was flashed successfully so here it is you can see that we have script succeeded and this is for the firmware next up it is flashing the flyme os vendor file and you have script succeeded for that as well result was one and last but not the least it is flashing the flyme os system and everything was installed successfully next up we'll tap on the home button now those of you whose device was encrypted you need to perform a format data so you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup for me my device was not encrypted and i do not have to flash disable force encryption either because it is baked into the vendor and i do not have to perform a format data as well we go into reboot and select system 
and bam there it is you can see that we have the flyme os boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into flyme os now in case your device is stuck on this boot animation for say at least 10 minutes in that case you will have to perform a hard reboot what is a hard reboot all you would need to do is press and hold the power button while you're stuck at the boot animation and then wait for another reboot cycle and then hopefully you will boot into flyme os on your poco f1 the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we have booted into flyme os we did not require a hard reboot we are on the setup screen we did choose english and now let me skip the initial setup real quick and if it asks you for the flyme id wait for a few seconds you will get the option to skip it on the top right and there it is peeps we have booted into flyme os we can go into settings and let me just click disagree over here looks like you cannot go into settings without clicking on agree so i will click on agree and then we can go into about phone and bam there it is you can see that we are running flyme os a port from the mizu note 9 based on android 10 on our poco f1 and there it is peeps that is how you install flyme os based on android 10 on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you what's up peeps manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install flyme os on the poco f1 as you can see i am running poco f1 